Hi everyone, today we are here to give a presentation on my doctoral work, which is called Social Representations in Media Communication and Their Effects on the Public Environmental Cognition, based on a case study of air pollution in China. This study focused on analysis of media representations of air pollution in the Chinese print newspapers and its effect on environmental attitudes and beliefs about air pollution in Chinese citizens. The work mainly has four parts, literature reviews, content analysis, study of citizen opinions, and experiment. In the part of literature reviews, there are 291 studies selected, and among them, 240 were written in Chinese, 51 in English, and 0 in Spanish. There are only three articles published before the year 2012. Since this year, more and more related studies published. By the year 2014, the number reached 51. From the year 2015 to 18, the number remained at about 50, and in the year 2019, the number declined to 24. Secondly, based on the series of agenda setting and framing, the author collected the information about air pollution published on the six mainstream newspapers from the year 2008 to the year 2018, then analyzed the news by the method of content analysis. The results show that Beijing Daily is the newspaper that published the most news about air pollution. Generally, the situation of air pollution was more serious in the north of China, so it was naturally that Beijing, as the center of the north, was greatly influenced by air pollution. As to the news publication year, it is observed that 5.5% of the news analyzed were published in the year 2008. But this percentage decreased later because of the Beijing Olympic Games in the year 2008. Air quality in China, especially in Beijing, was a focus of discussion in the media around the world. And with the end of the Olympic Games, the attention to the air pollution issues had also begun to decline. The amount of the news about air pollution peaked in the year 2013. In this year, many big smoke accidents happened in China, and the Chinese government issued the Air Pollution Prevention and Control Action Plan. All of this promoted the increase in the news about air pollution. What's more, the present work also investigates the distribution of the news in different seasons. The results show that the most coverage to the information was given in winter. First of all, Winter's climatic conditions in China are very favorable to the formation of air pollution. Secondly, due to the low temperature in winter, many areas of China always apply heating with fossil fuels. The third part referred to the story of citizen opinions of air pollution as a consequence of cultivation through long-term exposures to journalistic representations of air pollution in China. They also will carry out the field study in China to conduct popular survey. The main series that will be based in this part is cultivation Syria. The last part of this study is an experiment with real journalistic content. Following the results obtained from the previous step of the study, a design of experimental manipulation of factor 2 times 2 will be carried out. That concludes our presentation. This doctoral work would show the image of air pollution in the Chinese print newspapers and reveal the hidden information behind the context of newspaper. The investigation could provide meaningful suggestions and implications to the mass communication and social education on the aspect of increasing the environmental awareness and improving environmental issues. Even it could play a reference role in formulating relevant national policies. That's all. Thank you for your attention.